Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see how to clear MM interview with ChatGPT. We are going to use latest technology ChatGPT, how to clear the interview. Let's go to ChatGPT. It's an artificial AI. Let's go to ChatGPT. Just I have just logged into ChatGPT. Now I'm going to type this mock interview questions and answers for SAP MM. Let me copy this and paste it here. Let me paste it here. 10, let me enter 10 mock interview questions. 10 mock interview questions and answers for SAP MM. Press enter. So these are all the questions. It's keep on typing. What is MM and how does it help in supply chain management? This is the first question. This is the first question. Let me wait for all the questions and we'll discuss one by one. So these are the 10 questions. First, one by one, we'll discuss. So what is M? How does it help in supply chain management? SAP MM is metal management, wherein we use it for procuring of the raw material. Okay. How does it help in supply chain management? It is asking, how does it help supply chain? Supply chain management is demand supply. Material, material requirement planning. You can say material requirement planning for supply chain management. Okay. I have posted that material requirement planning related to that video I posted. Many videos, you can check that video. So the next question is, what is purchase requisition? How does it work in material management? Purchase requisition is a document which is created for internal purpose, okay? It can be created by material management team or warehouse team also, okay? It's a, just a basic level document, requirement document. Through that, you cannot do goods reserved or goods issues cannot be done through purchase requisition. Okay, it is a supporting document. You need a supporting document for purchase order, for purchase requisition. So purchase order is the supporting document for purchase requisition. Okay, so it is a basic level of document. How to create purchase order in material management? Purchase, first of all, what is purchase order? It's an order confirmation. Purchase order is an order confirmation. So how do you create it? Using transaction code ME21N. You can say that. Okay. What is goods reserve and how it is processed in material management? Fourth question. Goods reserve is nothing but inward of the material. Inverting the material. The, once the vendor is setting the material, it gets it will be inverted in the SAP system. Okay, so that that can be done in MIGO transaction. Transaction code MIG. Okay, so what is purchase info record? How does it help in for a procurement? So purchase info record is nothing but it's a master record which combines vendor and material. Okay, that is the purchase info record. And the pricing and the quantity will be specified in the purchase record. Purchase info record. That is what purchase info record is. Okay, what is the difference between purchase order and blanket purchase order? They are asking. So normally, normal purchase order is order confirmation, but the blanket purchase order is nothing but the recurring of the purchase order. Okay, keep on, if you are keep on giving the same uh, uh, order to the vendor, that is blanket purchase order. You can say that. Okay. What is the difference between goods reserved and goods issued? Goods reserved is inverting of the material. Goods issue is outward of the material. Okay, material gets issued to the vendor is goods issued. When the vendor is sending us back the material, that is goods reserved. Okay. How does the how do you configure SAP MM in? How do you configure SAP MM for U plant? We configure it in enterprise structure or OX 10 transaction. Normally we do it in SPRO, SAP reference IMG, and enterprise structure. That is how we configure the MM U plant. How do you handle price changes for the material? They are asking. Price changes can be done through Pricing procedure, pricing schema in SAP. Yeah. Pricing schema 
I have posted many material, uh, many uh, videos on pricing schema. You can watch that. So pricing changes can be done for the material in pricing using pricing schema. Final question: What is the what are the material master record? How it is used in SAP MM. So material master is we create material raw material in MM01 transaction. Okay, wherein we give the description of the material, material number, material description, and we give base unit of measures and material type we give material uh, uh, material requirement planning we give okay and finally valuation class and delivery number of days for the delivery so those are all the things we create we do in creation of the material master so normally there are types of material you can say there are various types of material material management is raw metal raw metals predominantly to raw metal procurement and semi finished also okay and finished goods will be taken care by sales and sales and distribution, sales and distribution module. That is what this is how we use Chat GPT for clearing of the interview. Thank you.